In this problem, we need to find out the equation of a circle that passes through the origin and it intersects the positive x-axis at a point 3 units and the positive y-axis at a point 4 units away from the origin. Now let's try to understand this particular problem. So here we have a circle that passes through the origin. So let's make the circle pass through the origin. Now there's a condition here that the circle is going to intersect the positive x-axis at a point 3 units away from the origin. So we'll consider 3 points away from the origin and we'll let the circle pass through that particular point. So this is 3, 0. That's the coordinate of that point. And then it also passes through the positive y-axis at a point 4 units away from the origin. So we have 1, 2, 3, so somewhere here, this is the point 0, 4. The circle is also going to pass through this particular point. So this is the circle and we need to obtain the equation of this particular circle. Now how do we do that? To find out the equation of the circle, there are th two things that we need. We will need the coordinate of the center and we will also need to find out the radius of this particular circle. Okay, so let's do that. So let's try to first find out the coordinate of the center. So we'll do a couple of construction here. So the first construction that we will do, we will name the center as, let's say, A. We're going to drop a perpendicular from the center to the positive x-axis, and we'll call it AB. So the construction being, we are drawing AB, and this is perpendicular to the line. So let's say this point is C. So, AB is perpendicular to OC. Right. Now, uh, we will join OA and this is going to give us the radius. Now that we have this, so we will try to find out the value of OA, OB as well as AB. Now, in triangle, before doing that, let's uh, use a fact here. We know for a fact that the perpendicular drawn from the center to the chord AC. AC is going to be the chord of the circle. So whenever we drop a perpendicular from the center to the chord, to any chord on the circle, it intersects the chord. That means OB is going to be equals to BC. Now in a problem, we have we have the value for OC. So OC is given as 3 units. Now what's OC? OC is nothing but the sum of OB plus BC. So OB plus BC is also equals to 3 units. And since OB is equals to BC, so we can replace this value BC with OB and this is going to give us 2OB. So 2OB is going to be equals to 3 units. Solving for OB, we get OB equals to 3 over 2 units. So we have found out the length of OB. So that's 3 over 2. Fine. Similarly, if we drop a perpendicular from the center A to the y-axis, and let's call it D. We are at this point of intersection, let's call it E. Fine. So we have OE is the chord, AD is perpendicular on OE. Now we will specify this. So we can use the same logic. We can say that ED uh, will be equals to DO since the length of e EO is 4 units. So the length of OD is going to half of 4. So that's going to be 2 units. So let's write it down. Here we have another construction that we're doing that we have AD perpendicular on the chord AE. Fine. So here we're going to use the fact that OD will be equals to DE and we have the length OE, the length of the chord is given to be equals to 4 units. So OE which is nothing but OD plus DE, so that's also equals to 4 units and we will replace the value of DE with OD that gives us 2 times OD equals to 4 so OD will be equals to 2 units. Now that we have the length OD, that will be exactly equals to the length AB. So that means our length of AB is also going to be 2 units. Now that we have the length of OB, which is the X coordinate of the center A, and AB, which is the Y coordinate of the center A, we can quickly define the coordinate of our center A. So that means coordinate of the center A, that's going to be so the x coordinate is 3 over 2, that's OB, and the y coordinate is AB, so that's going to be 2. So now we have found out the, uh, the coordinate of the center A. Our next task will be to find out the radius of the circle. Now that's fine. Now we have in the right angle triangle, 
let's take a b o this is right angle that angle b using the pythagoras theorem a o whole squared this will be equals to o b squared the square of the length of the base added to the square of the length of the perpendicular so that's a b squared so this will be equals to the so ob we have found out that this value is 3 over 2 we'll square it and add it to square of ab to square so let's further find, uh, simplify this so we get 9 over 4 plus 4 so that will be equals to so we have a common denominator 4 and we have 9 plus 16 the so 9 plus 16 is 25 so we have 25 over 4 so that's a o squared and if we want to find out the value of a o we'll take the positive square root positive because radius is a length the distance is always positive we have 5 over 2 and this is nothing but the radius of our circle so that means we have finally found out the radius as well which is 5 over 2 now so we have the coordinate of the center 3 over 2 comma 2 and the length of the radius r which is 5 over 4 or 5 over 2 now that we have the radius and the coordinate of the center we can easily find out the equation of this particular circle for this let's use the standard form so if we have a circle whose coordinate of the center is given by h comma k and the radius is given by r then the standard form of a circle is given by this particular formula we have x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared and that will be equals to the square of the radius now in our case we have already obtained the value of the center the center which is the coordinate h comma k uh, that came out to be equals to 3 over 2 and uh, 2 but this immediately tells us that the value of h is going to be 3 over 2 and the value of k is going to be 2 units. We have also obtained the value of the radius. The radius came out to be 5 over 2. So using this particular formula, so we now have x minus h. So h is going to be 3 over 2 whole squared plus y minus k. So k is 2. So y minus 2 whole squared. And that's equals to the square of the radius. So that's 5 over 2 whole squared. We can further simplify this and that's going to give us x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 4y equals to 0. So this is going to be the equation of the circle and if we want to keep it in the standard form then we will use this particular format.